In this video, we're going to take a look at a method for factoring trinomials when the coefficient of the squared term is larger than 1. Uh, oftentimes, this method is referred to as the bottoms up method, or also it's sometimes referred to as the AC method. I think it's a great alternative to what is often used as sort of a guess and check in terms of factoring situations like this and there isn't any guessing or checking we just have to follow this method and we get right to that factored form that we're looking for so let's take a look at this first one and we'll talk about the bottoms up method okay it starts by first checking to be sure that there's nothing we can pull out of the whole trinomial so in this case there are no common factors that I can pull out of this whole thing so then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna multiply a times C remember in a uh, trino or in a quadratic like this the form is a x squared plus BX plus C so a B C that's gonna be critical that we know those as we work through this method okay the first step is going to be to take a times c so in this case it's two times two so that gives us four then we're going to look for factors of four that combine to give us five well those factors would be four and one okay once i get those then i divide both of those by a so my a again was two so over two then I'm going to simplify each of these fractions, so whatever simplification I can do. In this one, I can divide by 2 on the top and the bottom, so I have 2 over 1, and here I have 1 over 2. Then what I'm going to do is go ahead and read them from the bottom up to get my factored form. So this one, the first one's going to be, I have 1 there, and that's going to have my variable, so 1, n, then the top is 2 so it's going to be plus 2 that's my first one then the second one we have 2n plus 1 reading from the bottom up now we can double check by just foiling it back out make sure that we get back to what we started with and if we do that we would have n times 2n which would be 2n squared then n times 1 so that would be plus n 2 times 2n would be plus 4n, and then 2 times 1 is 2. Combine like terms here, and we do indeed end up back where we started. What a deal. Sure beats guessing and checking. All right, let's take a look at this second one over here, where we have, um, again, a trinomial where a is larger than 1. Okay, again, our first step should always be to look and see if there's something I can pull out of there. And in this case, well, 15, 27, 6, I can pull a 3 out of all of those. So I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to take a 3 out, take a 3 out of this, we end up with 5n squared. Take a 3 out of that minus 27n, we get minus 9n. Take a 3 out of here, and we have minus 2. Okay. So now we've got smaller numbers to work with. That'll be all right. Then we're going to dig in here. And again, my first step is to take a times c. So two, or, or excuse me, five times negative two. That gives me negative ten. Okay. Then I'm going to look for factors of negative ten that will combine to give me negative nine. Okay. Well, that would be negative ten and one then we put each of those over f the a which is five so over five over five then simplify if we can this one we can so negative two and one this one we can't do any simplification so we just have to keep that and then we pull our factored form right out of these reading from the bottom up so we have one n so n minus two reading from the bottom up again then my second one is going to be 5n then plus 1 and again foil it back out to double check to make sure that we get what we started with so n times 5n would be 5n squared 
then n times 1 would be n minus 2 times 5n is negative 10n combine those we get negative 9n and then negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 what a deal this is pretty sweet alright let's take a look at a couple more quick examples here alright so again we start by looking to see if there's any common factor that I can pull out well doesn't look like it so then I hop into my bottoms up method starting again by taking a times c so 4 times negative 25 gives me negative 100 then I want factors of negative 100 that will combine to be negative 15 hmm let's see how about negative 20 and 5 combine those that would give me negative 15 then I put each of those over a so over a over a a in this case is 4 simplify so divide by 4 on the top and the bottom here so negative 5 over 1 and then on this side we have 5 over 4 can't do any simplification there then we read bottoms up so our variables n again so it's going to be n minus 5 and my second one is going to be 4n plus 5 again reading from the bottom up okay then double check make sure we've got the right thing so n times 4n that would be 4n squared which is what we had there then n times 5 that's 5n negative 5 times 4n would be negative 20n negative 20n plus 5n is indeed negative 15n and then finally negative 5 times 5 is negative 25 oh sure beats good old guessing and checking alright let's do one more again first step check to see if there's anything that we can pull out again in this case there isn't so we're just gonna go ahead and start our AC or our bottoms up method so multiply a times c six times negative six would give me negative thirty six then factors of negative thirty six that are gonna combine to give me positive five okay let's see hmm how about nine and negative four those would combine to give me that positive five okay so I've got those then I'm gonna divide each one by a so over six over six then simplify in this case we can divide by three on the top and bottom this one over here I can divide by two then read bottoms up to get our factored form so this first one again our variables n so it's gonna be 2n plus 3 times this one over here 3n minus 2 again can foil it back out to double check 2 times 2n times 3n is 6n squared 2n times minus 2 is negative 4n then 3n times 3 is 9n combine those two to get positive 5n and finally 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 so again factoring trinomials where the value of a meaning the coefficient of the squared term is larger than 1 we can use this method often referred to as the bottoms up or AC method let me summarize it for you again okay first thing we want to do and we should do this anytime we're factoring is see if there's anything we can pull out then we multiply a times C okay then we look for factors of of that AC that combine to be B okay so we look for factors of AC that combine to be B that middle term then we divide each by a then simplify and finally read bottoms up okay 
So again, fantastic method of factoring trinomials. Um, when I was in school, we didn't learn this method. We learned the good old guess and check method, and it certainly took much more time than this. So there's a little bit to remember, but if you can remember those few steps we have there, it sure speeds up the process of this factoring. Hope this video was helpful. Um, keep working hard on your math, and I know you'll do great.